What would you have done with this hand instead? If I were in your shoes and this flop came out, I would pretty much bet with any hand I had. It's just like, in the same sense that like, what you're saying, you know, why would he have any of these cards? He also doesn't necessarily have to think that you would either. On, he's gonna play the hand now. Let's look, I'm gonna sweat it with you. All right, let's go. You're gonna play it, what are you gonna do? Do you think ace-king suited is likely to be ahead of about 12 and a half to 15% of hands? One of the biggest problems with this kind of hand is that you're not always gonna be able to see the flop. So like you might have considered re-raising, right? It's like a pretty good hand, but early position. Um, and then in the event that re-raise comes in, then you can't really uh, you know, call with this kind of hand. Also, keep in mind, now that players have seen this, when you do call in the future, they're a lot more compelled to re-raise because they know you're playing these types of hands. It can be different based on the situation and the player, but once you start to get to the point where you get one third of your stack in pre-flop, you're basically pot committed. So at this point, rather than making raise to 4,500 and just leaving 5,000 behind, just moving all in makes sense because you're pot committed at that point anyway. One of the downsides to calling with aces there is, you know, then he gets to call with his fives. So sometimes roping him along doesn't always work out that well. It's like, you know, you get the extra 600 and then when he doesn't hit a set, that's it. You're discovering things, new things now, you're hearing new things that you've never heard about, and so it's kind of opening your mind to the different possibilities and what you potentially should be doing, which is good because you're thinking about how you should be doing things differently, and, and so that's good. You want to assume that everyone is playing reasonable ranges to start and that they play well because if you make a mistake, the mistake you make assuming that everyone is playing well is much smaller than the mistake you make than if you assume everyone's playing poorly. There's also a benefit in just folding out a hand that, um, you know, unless you think he's gonna put a lot of chips in post-flop with it, a hand that's just ace high, uh, but there's certainly some benefit in, in protection as well as value.